Now, what I've got in there is two pints of homemade bone stock, and that's going to be the basis of that French onion soup, which we had a look at at the beginning of the programme, and I'll just show you the other ingredients. In this pot here, I've got one and a half pounds of onions, and these onions have been cooking in two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil, and there was one other ingredient and that was half a teaspoonful of sugar. And the sugar was to help to brown the onions. I hope you can see they're nice and tinged and brown at the edges. And it's very important for this soup to have them really browned. So the teaspoon of sugar is a great help in that. You also add two cloves of garlic. This is a very French recipe, as I said. And you let them cook and brown like that over a gentle heat with the lid on for about 25 minutes. And when you've got them up to that stage, the next thing you do is uh, make it very French by adding half a pint, which I've got measured out here ready, of dry white wine. And immediately your kitchen is going to smell of France when that goes in. Then I'm going to add the stock, which I've got already measured into my casserole next door. two pints of delicious beefy stock and you're probably wondering at this stage well can't I use a stock cube well you can use a stock cube if you want to but I don't like the chemical flavors in stock cubes I don't think they're very good for the flavors of the food I think they're contrary very often so it's something I never use and in fact if you don't have any stock and you want to make onion soup then I give you permission to use water I think that would be better than a stock cube well, moving over to this pan now, we've got the finished onion soup. Here we are. And now I'd like to show you a way to serve it. The one you saw at the beginning of the program was in a great big terrine covered with slices of bread, and that's very nice. But I think it's also nice to serve it in individual soup bowls. And for this, you need to have heat-proof soup bowls, which I've got here in front of me. And you put some bread in. Now, the bread... This is called a large crouton, and this is just a slice of stale French bread that's been baked on an oil baking sheet in the oven for about 25 minutes. And you can make these in advance and store them in an airtight tin. So you put your crouton into the soup bowl, bring the soup over, and ladle it in on top of the bread. And when you do that, the bread floats to the surface, as you can see there. And the next thing you do is add some grated cheese. And I've got some very special cheese. This is Swiss Gruyere cheese here, which is a little bit expensive, but it does melt beautifully and it has that lovely stretchy quality. But you can use any other sort of cheese if you want to. And then you have the grill on, preheated to very high, and you just put the soup bowls under the grill until the cheese is brown and bubbling. And you serve it like that with some French bread and perhaps some French cheese to follow and, of course, some wine. And I think that's a really nice meal for a cold winter evening. Mm -hmm.